Well, good morning, everyone. So, um, as you can see, I'm actually wearing makeup today, and I did something with myself. Um, I decided to put in a little bit of effort today because we're doing something interesting and fun, and also because I've been told that I was letting myself go in some videos, but I mean, hey, it's quarantine. You're not supposed to look nice and put in effort. So, I decided to put in effort today because I've got something interesting that I wanted to do and I figured I'd look nice for it, even though it's something that could potentially be gross. So, my hair is still a little bit of a mess, but I at least put makeup on for you guys, so I hope you appreciate it. Uh, but, in today's video, we are going to take apart one of my old Keurigs that I used for, I want to say, five years, maybe? Uh, I got it six years ago but I didn't use it for the first year because of the fact that like I was living in a dorm my first year at LSU and we couldn't really have that so I started using my second year whenever I moved into an apartment and I used it up until this year 2019 and I started switching to a the smaller Keurig anyways I heard a rumor that apparently they get moldy and nasty on the inside so we're going to see if that's true and we're going to take apart my Keurig today. I have no idea how to do this. I haven't watched a video on how to take apart a Keurig but we're going to try and figure it out together and see if we can take it apart and see if it is moldy. I've got my old Keurig right here and this is going to be the one that we're taking apart and then we've got our little toolbox over here so I don't know how we're going to do this. We're just going to try and look for screws and see if we can take it apart and just try and figure this out together. can't take this apart as much as I was originally planning to because I don't have all the right tools but I want to show you guys some of the things that I did notice as I've taken it apart so far. Okay so first thing is that whenever you lift this up you can definitely see some like white fuzz growing in there. You can see that blackness and this connected to the water reservoir. So that's pretty disgusting. And then you can even see that this tube is kind of discolored a little bit. So it looks like there could be some stuff growing in that. I don't really have a great camera that's good enough to show it, but I'm trying my best for you guys. So if this isn't clear. You guys can tell. It's a little brown but whenever you lift it up, you can't really see anything. But it's definitely not clear like it's supposed to be. And then this thing, you can see, right there, there's kind of some like black stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it whenever you look through. Definitely some nasty stuff growing in there. It's not wanting to focus. Okay. Yeah. And then you look at that, and all 
like white like uh, white like it's supposed to be either it's kind of brownish that part I can't get to lift up because I don't have the tools to but you can kind of see that it's brown too I also want to show you guys inside the water reservoir I don't know if you can see let's see I'm trying to get my finger to show up on the camera okay so the one on this side this girl on this side you can tell is kind of like white and fuzzy so that's got little hairs on it so that is the inside of the water reservoir that you're just getting water from so that's pretty darn disgusting so new update tyler actually just came in here and i showed him what i was doing and he decided that he's going to try and take it apart more so we're going to see if we can find anything else for you guys now I was gonna destroy even further but there's a bunch of stale water all up in it and in order to destroy it further I'd have to flip it over to get at the other crevices so I cannot destroy it further without getting horrible disgusting smelly water all over our apartment you could take, like, a towel if you really wanted to. yeah but then we'd still have to deal with all the smelly water and it smelling up our apartment yeah. so anyhow uh, I will not call this a defeat because I think I could do it, definitely. But the costs outweigh the, the material that we could get you guys in this instance. So, yeah. Anyway, cool deal. You guys have it as a new wrap up. Uh, we tried to destroy the thing completely, but as you could tell and hear from Tyler, we had to give up on that. So that's been destroying things with Tyler and Erica. Uh, it was good to know that there is indeed some mold in our cure rig and uh, it's very disgusting. It makes me nervous about the one that we have now, the new one. It makes me want to just buy a regular coffee maker. But then, wouldn't you have the same problem with a regular coffee maker? I don't know. I'm really curious about that. It's very interesting and weird to think about and very disgusting. But hopefully we'll find something else like this to do for you guys again because that was pretty interesting to check out and look at and look into. But until then, we'll see you guys next time.